Hello, my loves. <laughs> yeah, we are officially starting the Galactic Vision monthly video readings that are exclusive to the sacred space of the Galactic Vision tribe. So I am so stoked to be doing this. I'm so excited to be, you know, bringing through this new these new teachings and this wisdom that is it, it's just had me just like giddy for weeks now, months now, um, since it's come through me. And now we're officially here. I'm officially talking about it. And I'm doing monthly videos for the, you know, first time ever. I'm kind of going to be going back to how when I first started doing videos. Um, but when I first started doing videos, they were with uh, just the new moon and full moon. But I... I because everything's always so organic with me I like to just um, look at the chart and start talking so this is what I'm gonna do with each one of them but with the monthly videos I'm gonna be having a base greeting uh, for everyone so you'll want to watch and see when I stop so you can fast forward <laughs> if you watch another sign but I wanted to kind of pull everyone together um, and kind of talk about the monthly theme that is really kind of operating in all of our lives and then I'm going to go more specific for each sign and tune into what's going on with everybody. Um, as you see too I also have moon mapping readings in here and those have been so much fun. It's another thing you know one of the things I think when we when we're born with these gifts we can learn them from another person but I believe that for a lot of us it's just about exploring them on our own and they develop as we put energy and love and focus into them. So even with the moon mapping readings, I was, I've never done that kind of thing where I tune in to a particular energy of, of the day and a month in advance. So I was kind of like, I don't even know if these are going to resonate. You know, I was like, I don't know. But every day I would go into a day and I would just be given all these images and I would have these sensations sometimes in my body. And how, now that I've done, you know, two weeks that I've shown you the last two weeks and now that I've done the next two weeks, I see how totally crazy different they are. And I really didn't know that I was able to do this. So I always kind of, you know, encourage people to come out of their comfort zones like that and not think they have to learn it from another person, but to really trust that we're all sovereign beings. We can figure this stuff out on our own. We can do these things on our own. There's a lot of things that we don't really need um, instructionals from somebody else teaching us how to do this. We innately know how to do this. And it's kind of, you know, getting out of our way of judging ourselves, which, you know, I'm always kind of like, I don't know if this means anything. But, you know, I've gotten enough reinforcement from everybody that now I'm like, this means something. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this. So uh, so it was new for me to tap into the daily energies. I had not done that before. And and even with the last two weeks that you guys have been able to to um, to watch or to read, I I didn't resonate with any of those. Like, it, you know, everybody is having really difficult times in the energy right now. And I was like... Um, I don't really feel anything. I feel great. Like I've been having some of the best days of my entire life where I just feel so carefree and I feel like everything is so beautiful and nothing affects me. Things that normally stress me out aren't affecting me at all. And I do have to tell you, I, I'll just plug this in here, even though I don't like to do this too much with my readings, but we have a new product out that I had Rosie create and I called it Lightning Bolt. Because I, I asked her to create something that grounds us firmly whenever we have some shocking situation in our life, like running into unconscious people on the streets and um, or having an argument with our mother or um, seeing something devastating out in the world that, you know, like something like 9-11, like everybody would need night lightning bolt because it just grounds you and it kind of gives you this overall perspective of what's really going on. 
um, so that you can move forward solid and not in a fragile state. So when I finally got it in my hands and tried it, I had an example to base it on and it was amazing how it shifted me within five to ten minutes. So now I've been taking it every day and what I realized it's this incredible mood elevator. Like I am so, like all these things that everybody has been having such a difficult time with, I have not even felt. So because of the lightning bolt. And um, I just wanted to let you all know about that because it's something that you haven't really heard me talk about. I think all of our products are the bomb and are amazing, but this is one I'm really excited about because I feel wonderful and everybody else is freaking out and having such a hard time. And me, I'm just like, hey, you know, it's, you know, it's all good. So it's kind of a profound uh, 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 product and I wanna change it like lightning bolt to liquid bliss <laughs> and they'll be the same. They're both LB, <laughs> but it is, it's so blissful. It's so like, it's just amazing. Like something with the things that she picked for it just is just absolutely, it's saved me, saved me, saved me every day. And I take it every morning <laughs> or if I forget and then something starts stressing me out and I'm like, get to the lightning bolt. And then I take it and I'm like, okay, everything's fine. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. So, okay, this month, this month is very much about splitting off, breaking apart, separating. And what we have to realize is that anything, you know, 2016 is the reason that Galactic Vision and the guides came through me to start teaching or to start sharing these teachings with you. So you already know I've been saying it for years that after 2012 we had three boot camp years priming us and getting us ready for the things that were to come in 2016 that actually are kind of scary and kind of, I mean, even some of them are already hitting the scene into our awareness, these threats that could happen and they are in the manifesting field. So it's very much that this will be the potential and we will be living this. But my galactic guides came through and said, we can change this. And it's through enough of us vibrating in the galactic vision love, which you'll start to be able to read about in issue one. And when we are vibrating in this, um, in the eight vibration of galactic vision, we are better able to change situations that can occur on our planet. We are better able to change a person to keep them from doing something devastating and destructive. So through our into our through our intentions, we're going to be able to change the world. And it's totally far out, but the more I've been shown all these teachings and the more they're talking to me about this stuff, I know we can do it. So that's why we had the 3 years of boot camp. That's why the Mayan calendar ended and then we have three years to kind of wake up to how we are doing the exact same thing that ended that civilization, which is being too much in the excess um, of everything and too much into superficial things and too much into consumerism, you know, or, or too much into gold and dazzle and, you know. So, um, and, and depleting our resources for the purpose of, uh, Feeling, feeling fulfilled in life um, through these things that aren't really the means to where how we get to that. So we're having the exact same world play out, and we could we could lose it all. You know, we absolutely. You know, there have been psychics who have seen no more after a certain point and we're at that point so there's no time at all to play ego to play i don't believe this to play i don't need to change myself to play i don't need to better myself we we have to right now and we need everybody signing up and going okay i'm ready to learn this stuff i'm ready to take the high road i'm ready to shift my vape vibration up into the galactic vision so that i can start influencing this planet and keep us alive this time. We're having the exact same tests and we can just fizzle away and die and have it, you know, there's, you know, 200 people on earth, you know, or we can really just start making these changes to rebuild this planet and to change our, you know, way of thinking, which has gotten us into the hole we're in. But at the same time, it's not about judging ourselves because we are just doing what we have been shown. You know, we are buying all these things because it's all we've known. Uh, so it's not about putting ourselves down or be, oh, it's not about putting other people down too. They're only doing what they know. So what you're going to see in the galactic vision, it's not about making another person the bad person. 
and if you understand history and this is just what I'm getting because there's so much more to it but one of the things that really changed American culture and history was when um, Nixon was just got into office or something or he was in office for a while but when the when um, yeah Nixon was in office okay so when the people started saying no we don't want to have war. So when the youth for the first time ever rose up and said no and they were like we can come together in numbers and we can change going to Vietnam and murdering people and and thinking that war is the way. So when the when the 60s in the late 60s when that uprising came that is when uh, the forces behind, you know, Nixon and the government, they really kind of stepped in to bring about the me against you mentality. So that's when people who were opposing the war were evil, you know, and it was painted through TV, it was painted through any means to get messages out that people who were disputing the war were terrorists or, you know, whatever. And we had this again played out with 9-11 and now we're having it again played out now. So we're back in that me against you, me against you me against you and it's really gotten us to where we are right now um, that we now have this mentality of always judging another person always putting them down always needing to cram our opinions down their throats and it's not how we do it you know we we can actually change people more through energy <laughs> and through visualization than we can through trying to tell them no my sports team is better than your sports team listen to me you know um, everything that you really see out there now is me against you, me against you, me against you. My race is better, my sex is better, my sports team's better, my town is better, my country is better, and it's all a bunch of bullshit because we're all connected, we're all one, we're all affecting like a big mass thing of water, like every one of us is affecting everybody else. So Galactic Vision is going to open us to that. And with um, with where we are right now, things are breaking apart. So um, relationships are ending, friendships are ending, work relationships are ending, jobs are ending, living in places are ending. So if, if you're feeling like this really strong discomfort right now, it's for a reason. The place you're living is not right. The person you're sleeping to is not right. That friend is not right. That collaboration is not right. And if it is right, it feels great. You know, if it is right, it's like, you know, I was telling my best friend in town here, I was like, I was talking about this weeks ago and I, I'm just recognizing my relationship with people and I love her so much. This is Rosie, actually. I'm the one who created Lightning Bolt and creates all of our, you know, amazing products. Um, and I was like, every time I'm with you, you know, I never feel uncomfortable. I never feel like I can't say anything. I never feel like I'm picking up on something weird. I never feel like I... Um, you know, I never feel like um, um, I can't say something I'm having to hold back, but I really need to say something to her. It's nothing but 100% smooth flow, totally natural. I can be myself. She can be herself. And and I, I was telling her, I was like, we really need to be more honoring of our space and only go for things like this because we sacrifice a lot. We think, well, this has been my friend forever, so I'm going to hang out with her even she, though she's so negative and I am so down when I leave her and I've been in this relationship for 30 years and I should never leave it because I swore we'd be together until death and blah 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 we've talked about this in recent videos and uh, and uh, right now with this splitting apart energy it's making it so that it's like intolerable it's like I can't even stand the sight of you or I can't stand to even smell you or I can't stand to hear your voice like it's like absolute oil and water right now with the people that we are not meant to be in with the towns we are not meant to be in um, you know and even with that there's certain locations where we just shine you know and there's certain places where we just feel like we're dying things are just aren't right and it's really about us taking the risk and opening to where that new place is where that new person is um, where that new job is where that new way to make a living is and it doesn't have to be anything that's stressful and the most important thing because we come from this foundation of judging everybody as oh you're bad there's something wrong with you we have to retrain our brain to say 
we're breaking apart, but it doesn't mean anything bad about me and it doesn't mean anything bad about you. You know, we have to retrain ourselves to stop going back into that old pattern of then being like defending this thing or, you know, laying out the, well, you do this and I can't da and da da da. Like, we don't even need that. Like, just end it. it. It's not working anymore. We have to end this, you know? It doesn't need to be this huge debate of like putting somebody down, shaming someone, making them feel bad. It just needs to be we don't resonate, period. And I'm actually going to be talking about this in the next Galactic Vision, but I'll just jump in with it right here. Um, um, we're not meant to like everybody. You know, we're not meant to love and like everybody. That's not how it needs to be. If we loved and liked everybody, we would not have those best friends that feel so amazing. You know you will never leave their life unless something changes. Um, you know, we need that contrast. So if we just liked and loved everybody, we wouldn't have these amazing friends that we feel such soul connections with. So we just have to understand that it's a barometer. It's something showing us, guiding us as to this person isn't really right for me. This person is right for me. So we're going to talk about that in the next Galactic Vision and some teachings on how to go about that, how to initiate that, how to honor that, and how to just make the decision and go on. Because it's the same way if you, you, you made a bath and it's ice cold water, you put your foot in there and you're like, ah! I forgot to turn on the heat. I am not taking a bath. You don't just then force yourself to get in it and just deal with its ice coldness. You walk away and you go, okay, I can't take a bath right now. Though We have no hot water <laughs> or whatever, you know? So there's going to be all these teachings that kind of show us how to do this in honoring ways. So this month, you can expect that fractures are splitting you off in every direction. You just need to honor it. You just need to go with it. You don't need to put other people down because of it or judge them. And you also need to be open to a re-alignment <laughs> of more suited people into your life. So everything that ends brings about something that's going to begin. So do understand that if something's ending for you, there's something new that is going to arrive. And when you're in the galactic vision, you trust that. You don't judge this as the end of the world, the end all to be all, or I say that wrong, my editor told me, and I can't remember, the be all to end all. But um, you don't always judge something as something being wrong. You're more just like riding in a roller coaster and you know that it's not smart to get off but you, and you don't know what's going to happen, but you know you're going to be safe and you're going to eventually be getting off of that and being like, oh my God, that was so much fun. You know, while you're in it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm freaking out. And, oh. and then you're always like so exhilarated when it was over. So it's really about learning to trust that, learning to trust the galactic vision lifestyle, um, learning to see where you go and being okay with that and not labeling it as good or bad. My team's better than your team. My opinion's better than your opinion. Um, you're so behind the times because you're still, you have no clue about GMOs. We don't need any of that. We don't need to judge anybody for what they're doing. Um, we just kind of have to trust and use our energy to be like, they're going to wake up from that. You know, something's going to shift in the world and they're going to wake up and we're going to be able to combat this issue instead of getting mad and shoving our things down people's throats. So this month is all about breaking apart, but being excited for what is going to then come back to us and magnetize towards us. Okay, so now check out where the minutes are because I'm going to be saying these on everyone. <laughs> and, um, and now we're going to get into the monthly readings for December 2015. Okay, see you soon, as in one second. <laughs> Hi, kind of. Hello, Taurus. Okay, so let me pull out the chart and see what we're going to be talking about for December. Okay. Um, okay, so... Okay, so this is, um, this is going to be kind of a heavy time for you. And... It's another one of those that can go in, 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 in two directions. So it can be a really, you know, because we're not always at the same space in life with the lessons that we're learning. So with this one, I feel a, a really big 
um, two different categories going on. So some people, it's really heavy, it's really emotional, it's really raw, it's really sensitive. Um, it's like having your wounds hit and like things be being provoked, um, touching places in you that you didn't even know you had, having really strong reactions that you didn't know you did anymore. So it's a lot of things kind of taking you back into your wounds, back into old memories, um, into kind of a space of death um, that is going to lead to a regeneration, but a lot of you are still in this death space. So death space. So the beginning of the month is definitely going to be heavier on you. Um, just kind of, it just feels like almost unbearable. Like you want to escape from all of this. It's that it's just too much and you can't understand it because there's a really big element of pieces aren't put together yet. So this has you feeling insecure and unsure you know, even about life anymore. And what's really good is that then there's going to be, you know, there's rainbows not that far away. So the realization and the information that can kind of set you free is actually pretty close. So with that, the message is just keep moving through this. It's going to get better. And you know this, but still words are so in huge numbers nowadays. So uh, it's harder for us to actually walk them. It's really easy to read all the books and watch all the teachers and, and acquire this information in our minds. But, you know, we're often then tested to see how well we actually know this wisdom and are walking it and applying it in our life. So I can say, you know, that whole thing about, you can get through this, it's okay, you know, it's gonna get better. But when you're in it, it's still a different story. It's still having to move through all those steps. So that's where you're at right now. And it can feel a bit intense and heavy and way more than you want to be dealing with right now is what I get. I get this like wanting to just shug it off and and there's also something with looking into the past and being like what happened? How could this have changed so quickly? So there's you know it's unhinged, it's fractured, it's ah, but it's really kind of um it's really kind of pulling up your strength from your reserves. So it's also really going to be teaching you to kind of walk more confidently and knowing in our lives. This is why I say too like you don't know this until the older you get, but you have so many opportunities in life that completely throw you off balance. And, and, and after each one of them, you just become more solid and you also become much more accepting of all that life has to offer, knowing that things turn around, things come together, winter does not last all year, you know, so you, because of walking through these intense journeys that you maybe don't want to, you actually kind of gain a more solid and, um, and honored take on life. You know, we go to older people for wisdom on life. You know, when you're younger, you know, I, I said that too with the Saturn return, how what I noticed is that when I was 26, 27, around that age, I thought I knew everything. And it's kind of like the big practical joke on humans is that when you are really young and don't really know a lot is when you think you know so much. You're like, I have this all figured out. I have the world figured out. <laughs> and then you know, what tends to happen is when we start to get the tests in life that kind of happen, you know, big ones, you know, start happening about every decade after our early and mid twenties. And then you just get pounded and pounded and pounded and you can't believe how foolish you were for thinking you were so wise and so know it all and so skilled on the workings of the earth, you know, as we all kind of do when we go through our twenties like that. And then you just get, you know, knocked down and knocked down and knocked down. And then, but from that, you really then look back at like how foolish it was to think you were so in the know. Um, and then you travel along again in life and then you get knocked down again. And, and it seems like the older you get, the more humble you are on, I don't, 
I don't know. Um, I, I have no, and I wrote that something, and that's funny that I say that because Saturn's in Sagittarius, and when I wrote about Saturn in Sagittarius, I was talking about how the town I live in is like an entity here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and what I've noticed is people who think they most know it and are most put together and most wise to the ways of the world are the ones who struggle, 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 or they get knocked down hardcore. So when you think about it, Saturn and Sag, that's kind of what this is about too right now where you know the moment you know and I said the moment you think you know it all and you have it all put together it seems to be taken away from you as a test to kind of I don't know put us in our perspective um, humble us I think we all really need huge humblings in life so the purpose of it is kind of like one big great mystery but it just seems to happen the moment you think I got it all together the rug comes out and then you're tested but that new person that tumbles out of that position and has to pick themselves up again tends to be someone that we then really appreciate for their wisdom because we like people who've walked these things you know talking them is easy <laughs> talking them is the easiest thing ever walking it it's a totally different story so there's something in your life that's kind of tumbling through something that you may later end up talking about or at least something that's going to change who you are so that you do get more authentic respect as someone who really knows you know what this is about instead of just you know and it's funny because back in um when I lived in Oakland, I was around the time I was told that I was going to be writing the High Vibration Handbook, and I was told I was going to be talking about these high vibration relationships. And I've been like, I, you know, haven't really had the opportunity to really walk that yet. And I'm like, when am I going to be talking about that? And it could just be something in my 50s or 60s, you know, down the road. But I haven't even wanted to really go in on that too much because I don't just want to be someone who's just talking it. You know, I'd much rather be like, Yes, I walked this, I learned this, and now I'm going to share my wisdom with you. So that's kind of a big theme for a Taurus, but like I said, on the other hand, I feel these other ones who have already passed these tests. So it feels like something's coming around again. This could just be Taurus that are older um, or just learned these lessons when they were younger, but it feels like there's a, a turning of a circle, of a cycle that's now bringing you to another level. Like so. You know, a while ago you lived all these things that I'm talking about right now that a lot of the Taurus are going through, but there's these other Taurus who are now kind of rising to more of this, I don't know if it's like priestess, um, it's some kind of like noble role, and it's also something that's very sexual, so it's kind of tuning into, you know, really like their deep, strong, powerful essence. So um, there's another group who is like, maybe even coming together with a partner, um, um, starting over with a partner, really going to another level with a partner, because um, there's something like delving into this other kind of energy through sexuality and 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 kind of this kind of magical thing that's coming together. So there's going to be a lot of different ways that um, the Taurus excuse me, are feeling right now. <laughs> Sometimes I cannot get air out. Um, I get choked. That's why I'm also too like, is that something? Um, so, uh, um, there, um, if you are, I guess like everybody really needs this, but, uh, uh this sign is going to be needing to stay positive and really kind of hopeful and not to get too much into the negative possibilities or worrying too much in regards to um, things that are kind of romantic related um, um, with your creative endeavors. There can be some shifts where, I don't know, business is down, things aren't working out like you thought, uh, things have slowed down, things are going into a retreat cycle, and um, and that, that could also be happening with serious relationships, with, you know, coworkers, with anything around your creative endeavors. And uh, so there's something with needing to just really be hopeful that this is all going to tumble out and you'll see that it actually makes wonderful sense and you're going to be in a better position 
from all of this. So it really is like the tumbled stone and some things are falling away, this is falling away, that's falling away, but what's going to be coming forward, and you're even going to start seeing the signs of it at the end of this year, it's not that far away, are more of pieces of the diamond and more reasons to glitter, glitter um, and shine and more reasons to uh, feel like, oh my gosh, this was all worth it. So the month of December feels like it's either going to be an intensity that's sexual and wonderful or, you know, something that primal kind of energy or it's horrible and nightmarish and what is going on and this is too much. But as we move through the month, it goes, either one of those aspects goes to an even higher level. So of understanding, of acceptance acceptance of enthusiasm and gusto to move forward and then there's going to be changes well we'll get into that in January but then it's just kind of getting better so this is kind of a uh, or a, a same vibration but satisfying <laughs> sensually satisfying um, and then getting to something that's a lot better and it makes so much more sense and then things will be moving and it's gonna feel a lot lighter so this really feels like it's not the end of of uh, and also at the end of the month there's more putting things into balance so there's this and this there's also my stuff your stuff uh, but there's going to be more of like a focus on putting things into categories where they need to be. We're going to take care of this. You're going to take care of that. This is my responsibility. That's your responsibility. And something about that is what's freeing things up and bringing things to a higher level where you're like, oh my gosh, this is so worth it. I can't believe this. It's working out. And then um, it's, and I'm not saying that there's still like, it's like patches of fog you're going to be moving through. So it's not like this is over. And it's not like it's always going to be like this. So there's a really big energy of patch of fog, confusion, oh my gosh, this is so heavy, and then clearing, and oh my gosh, my life is wonderful, and then patch of fog, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So it's kind of a wave for you for a while, but at least you now know the fog isn't continuing, and there are glimpses of this, you know, higher. And you know what this makes me think of, too, is like when I did the website design, and I'm still in all this crazy, I have so many bugs in the system, and it's really kind of uh, crazy making the whole process has been, but it, it like pushed me to the limit, <laughs> like more than I can even remember in my whole life almost. Like it was so insane, like are you kidding me? And then I just kind of knew that, I don't know, something just told me that like there was something really amazing on the other side of this. And I would keep trying to think that even though it was still everything was driving me crazy. And I really have noticed that, you know, I kind of got it launched. It's not done. It's not really exactly what I want, but at least it's up there. And um, a work in progress, you know, maybe that's just a lesson too, as we so are in our lives anyway. But uh, but uh, but now I'm kind of in this totally different space where everything feels so magical and so wonderful, you know. So it's kind of like that. It, that's a big part of life too. When we have these every decade, these really huge kind of testing trials, uh, is kind of like then we come out of them and it's like oh my gosh, kind of the same if you've had rain and rain and rain and rain and rain. Even though I love rain, so this doesn't apply for me. I'm like get rid of the sun. Why is the sun shining so much? Is more who I am. But um, for most people, it rains and rains and rains and rains, and then that sunshine comes out and you're like oh my gosh, life is so beautiful and you can't believe how much it changed your personality and it's like that with everything when you get past your Saturn return when you get past your Uranus opposition you know there's all these these transits that come through that just are like I can't believe this and then you get through it and it's like wow I feel amazing I'm so proud of myself for what I walked I'm so proud of myself for what I cleared I'm so proud of myself that I did this and look at me now you know so something like that is happening with you. So you really just got to put on those courage, your courage shield and like, I will get through this. But at the same time, I do feel lots of heavy emotion. I feel lots of raw emotion. I feel lots of tears. I feel lots of vulnerability. Um, there's a really big, just like vulnerable and sensitive, but I'm only feeling that in part of the Taurus. The other ones, it's more empowered. It's stronger than they've ever felt. It's more empowered than they've ever felt. And like I said, it's kind of tuning into that 
priestess um, energy that you know knowing kind of soul and but it feels like they already went through this low point and now this is a really big reward coming to them for that okay so that's gonna be your December just move through this there's light and it's actually not that far away uh, but the quicksand is pretty heavy <laughs> it's pulling you down and you need to though because there's hidden things that you haven't been feeling you haven't been accepting you haven't been facing and those just really need to come to the surface um, Taurus what I've noticed is most about burying those things you know I that's the sign that's most going to just play like it's okay and um, and not really face those things so right now it feels like they're coming head-on with you and you're seeing your wounds you're seeing these patterns you're seeing these patterns of not speaking up or not saying anything or hoping for the best and this will just work itself out and it's that break-off point where it's like no it's not and why suck all your energy away trying to make it work out when it's not supposed to so separate disconnect break apart and go forward in this new way that's actually going to have you feeling so much more empowered than you could have been that than you have been for years leading up to this point all right see you in january bye hmm.